In case you're wondering what the real secret is to getting a truck done on any level, good cup of coffee. Okay, for those of us who are fortunate enough to have an impact gun, which I highly recommend these, um, they're portable, they've got a lot of power, and uh, they're convenient for stuff just like this where you don't want to spend all day just cranking and cranking and cranking. These nuts are 22 millimeters. I'm hoping that uh, they just back right off. Otherwise, I've got a breaker bar, break them loose, and then take them off with the gun. Just slides over like... Normally you'd have to fight it if you had a bushing, you'd have to drill the bushing out. But in this circumstance, as I said, I burn the bushings out, which is probably the best thing you could do, the quickest thing you could do. And the spindle is out. So now all I've got to do now is lock the spindle back into the, uh, the vise here. And then grab these, uh, grab the, the actual centers of the bushings or what's left of them, and then just slide them off. So I think a pair of vice grips will probably do the do the trick. The uh, bushings are, or the centers of the bushings are just sliding off. So you want to make sure that you get this out because the new bushings do not use these. That is how you disassemble a control arm. Getting ready to sandblast these guys. Hopefully they'll come out and good. This is one side. Some rust here. And this is the other side. It's got some rust on the bottom side. I've already kind of scuffed them up with a scouring pad. There you go, all in primer. Just waiting for a color. Haven't decided yet. I'll let you know. Okay, I just got done wire brushing these up, um, as you saw, and this one here is in really good condition. I like it. There's very little pitting where the bushings ride, so this would clean up nicely. This one here, on the other hand, though, this end is okay, but this end here it looks like it's been in outer space for a long time. You can see all the pit marks on it. I don't know. And the threads here are a little bit chewed up as well, so I'm really not not a huge fan of this particular one here. I might 
disassemble the other two control arms and grab the uh, the best spindle out of the last two of those. This one's definitely a keeper though. Well, it's a really pretty December 3rd here, um, and no snow, so uh, I'm out here painting. I'm trying to get a low uh, ESL, and uh, they said they had to have a home inspection done. So we got this whole CD with all this stuff on it, and they were like, well, you know what? The first guy that went through that, there was something that went through like three things. I just needed a different screwdriver. Done. I didn't do it on purpose. to disassemble all the rest of the control arms, lower control arms, and uh, went back and redid uh, another upper control arm because I didn't like how the spindle turned out in the, uh, uh, in the first batch. So I went back, took apart another control arm, got a better spindle, painted it, uh, everything's ready to go on that. All I gotta do is just pop the bushings into, the, into those arms and that part of it's done. But the biggest news that I've got is, uh, and I was crossing my fingers that this was going to happen, and it did, and I'm very happy about it. I just purchased another Nissan Pathfinder, a WD21 uh, Pathfinder. It's a 91. What makes this truck special is that, one, it's a parts truck. Somebody rolled it three times, so it's been, the body is completely crushed. Um, but I'm not even worried about that. It already has a VG33 swap done to it. This is my latest acquisition, and it is trashed. But here's what makes this purchase awesome. This is a swapped-in VG33 out of a either a Pathfinder or an Xterra. This has got the adapter on it that allows you to be able to run the VG30 belts with the VG30 bracketry uh, so that's already done and it's got the VG33 oil pump you can see that down there with the uh, filter relocated um, this is going in the green truck this is my VG33 it's got uh, headers on it which I hear they're not uh, not the best but whatever I'm not I'm not there yet we'll figure that out but the rest of this truck is in pretty sad shape. She barrel rolled three times. So, not good. But she's got a lot of good parts, which is uh, very handy to have. And then we're going to cut it down and uh, probably scrap the body. But it's the SC. It's got leather, which is good. It's kind of trashed in here, but who cares? It's a parts truck. And uh, I'm not really terribly concerned about it. 
leather seats. It's a five speed, so we're gonna be keeping that. We're gonna be keeping all the drivetrain, front, rear axles, uh, transmission. This thing supposedly has a newer clutch in it uh, with a newer flywheel. Because uh, they obviously took this out of, a, you know, took the power plant out of another truck. And uh, they had to adapt it to be able to work. Uh, I can get at those bolts. That's good. So we can get this hood off. And then I got to figure out uh, how I'm going to cover this engine up. Because I'm, I'm going to start taking a few things apart just to get it ready for... Uh, winter nap yeah it's definitely trashed but it was cheap and it was delivered so i can't argue with that you can smell gas it's leaking gas from somewhere well i guess we'll find out in the spring when we uh or move it and find that the uh, grass is dead somewhere oh, there's my vg33 <laughs> Yeah, Pathfinder, second Pathfinder. It's funny how they just kind of find you after a while. But that's it. It already looks better. snowballs into a junkyard if you're not paying attention and looking so, yeah cool so i'm gonna leave you guys with that pathfinders happening everywhere